Greetings, fellow mathematicians. Here we're going to learn a nice shortcut to U substitution, something that I call the 1 over A shortcut. Now, this is for evaluating integrals with two requirements. The inside is a linear expression of the form AX plus B, where A and B are constants or numbers. And then the other requirement is that the function F has a basic antiderivative. So think exponential functions, sines, cosines, things like that. Now, again, this is a shortcut for substitution. So let's take a look at a basic example and see where this one over A comes from. All right, and the integral we'll start with is a basic exponential integral, e to the two x. So we can tackle this with a straightforward substitution. Let's go with u equals 2x. We calculate the differential. And in order to properly convert your integral from x to u's, we're missing a factor of 2, so we can divide this over, where we're going to get 1 over 2 du equals dx. Now, just to bridge where we're going and where we are, notice this expression is linear. And the value of a is 2. So keep that in mind. Let's proceed with the usual substitution. We rewrite our integral. We get the integral of e to the u times 1 half du. If you want, you can bring that one half out. And then finding an antiderivative for the exponential function, very easy, it's just itself. So we get one half, one over a times e to the u. And then we substitute u back in. And we get our antiderivative. So that's complete u substitution. Here, the 1 over a shortcut, we basically just take a look at our value for a, and notice with the substitution, we get a 1 over a factor. Now, this will cut down the work, especially if you start combining substitution with another method like integration by parts. So what the 1 over a shortcut looks like for this integral, is I take a look at my integral, identify the linear expression and the value of a, and we get a 1 over a factor, 1 over 2, and then times your basic antiderivative. Notice the linear expression gets plugged back in because we back substitute u as 2x. All right, let's get to more examples. We're going to start with another exponential integral. All we need to do to apply the 1 over a shortcut is identify the value of a, which is here 3. And our antiderivative, we get a 1 over a factor, 1 over 3, times the basic antiderivative. This is really quick, really nice especially if you're applying substitution with another integration method, like integration by parts, which many of you will be getting to shortly. All right, for our second and third examples, let's take a look at every science and engineering student's favorite functions, trig functions. You can probably start to see the pattern here. We identify the value of a, which is here, 4. And our antiderivative gives us a 1 over a, 1 over 4 factor, times the basic antiderivative. All right, let's take a look at another one.
identify the value of a in the linear expression, the number multiplying x. Here that's 5. And our antiderivative, we get a 1 over a factor, 1 over 5. And then times the basic antiderivative, which for sine is negative cosine. And of course, you can clean that up if you want. You can write this as negative one-fifth if you want to make that look a little bit nicer. For our final example, we'll take a look at a frequently encountered integral. And here it might not be obvious or as obvious what the basic antiderivative is. If we take a look at that, That looks very similar to the integral of 1 over x, which evaluates to natural log of x. So here, natural log is your basic antiderivative. All right, so with that, we apply the 1 over a shortcut, identify the value of a in the linear expression, which is 2, our antiderivative 1 over a, 1 over 2, and then times your basic antiderivative. All right, again, this is a shortcut for substitution, which bypasses a little bit of work, especially with combining with another integration method. Now, at this point, after these four examples, you're probably wondering, is this true in general? Why does this work? Well, we're gonna leave the proof as an exercise to the viewer. Just kidding. Let's prove it. For the proof of the 1 over a shortcut, we're going to go through a full substitution. So we're going to pick the u as the inner linear expression. Calculate your differential. And the crucial step here, where the 1 over a comes from right here, convert this since we're missing a factor of a outside the function in the integral, divide that over 1 over a du equals dx. And if we go ahead and convert from x's to u's, our integral converts to this. And remember, we are assuming that the function little f has a basic antiderivative. So if we were to write that, symbolically, the basic antiderivative, we're calling that capital F of X. We can get that antiderivative in terms of U. This is now 1 over A times capital F of U. And as always with U substitution, we convert U back to X using our substitution. And that completes the proof for the 1 over a shortcut. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel.